Welcome to this application explainer video, part of our instrumented systems topic range. In this video, we'll cover the subject of module connections within SLM. One of the main benefits of SLM is the way it connects data across phases of the lifecycle. There are many connections made between the modules that permit data to flow more efficiently. In this video, we will cover what data is shared between the PHA and design portions of the lifecycle and how that sharing is initiated by the user. The following information will be covered in this training. Chapter one will be LOPA associations and chapter two will be LOPA function sync. In chapter one, we'll be covering a data shared between LOPA and instrumented systems modules and the location of data in each module. There are three main grouping categories of data shared between the LOPA and the instrumented systems module. First is the target risk reduction factor, which also is associated with the target probability of failure on demand and the safety integrity level for those IPLs. Second is the PHA scenario information. And third is the calculated demand rate. The first of the three groups of data that we will look at is the target risk reduction factor target probability of failure on demand and target safety integrity level. In the LOPA module, navigate to the IPO object. The calculated fields table displays the calculated target risk reduction factor and calculated target safety integrity level values. The target RRF and PFD for a SIF is calculated in the LOPA module based on the scenarios it's applied to and the remaining gap for each of these scenarios. For more information on this calculation, see the video on LOPA calculations. In instrumented systems, the same information can be seen by clicking on the SIF object and viewed in the first section for the performance target SIL, RRF and PFD. The target PFD is calculated as the inverse of the target RRF. The second group amongst the information shared between LOPA and instrumented systems is the PHA scenario information. We can see this information on the barrier or IPL tab by scrolling down to the risk reduction factor for the SIF. This table displays the scenario information, including initiating cause for the short description, the risk reduction factor for each of the scenarios and the hazard or consequence. This information can also be seen in instrumented systems on the SIF, SIF overview tab, scroll down to the LOPA reference table. Here it shows the LOPA barrier or IPL ID, the LOPA worksheet, scenario information, including your cause and consequence and risk reduction factor. The first set of data that is shared between the LOPA module and instrumented systems is the calculated demand rate for the SIF in the LOPA module. This information can be found once again on the IPL or barrier object in the calculated fields table. For more information on how this demand rate is calculated, see the video on LOPA calculations. To view the same information in the instrumented systems module, navigate once again to the SIF and click on the general tab. In this first section, you can see the calculated SIF demand rate. For more information on how this demand rate is calculated, see the LOPA calculations video. In chapter two, we will cover what is a LOPA function sync, performing a LOPA function sync from the instrumented systems module and performing a LOPA function sync from the LOPA module. A LOPA function sync is when the IPL from LOPA is associated with a function in instrumented systems, relief systems or non-instrumented systems. It is this association of objects that allows for the data from the LOPA module to be shared with the design modules. Although the process is the same with any of the design modules, this video will be specifically looking at an instrumented systems example. There are two main locations that you can perform this LOPA function sync. One is in the features menu in instrumented systems. The second is the IPL or barrier object in LOPA. To start the process of performing a LOPA function sync in the instrumented systems module, navigate to the features menu, click on LOPA function sync here, you'll go through a series of filters to navigate to the desired barrier by selecting the unit, the LOPA study, barrier category and barrier type, which are all the instrumented functions in instrumented systems. 
In this example, we will link together a barrier to a SIF. Select Get Barriers. And now you see two tables. One is the Barrier List or IPL, where you can search for the barrier that you wish to link to your function. Select that barrier. On the right hand side, you can see the function list where you can select the function that exists currently in instrumented systems to associate it with. To sync these two functions, the barrier and the functions together, click on sync to selected function. If the function does not exist in the function list in instrumented systems and you wish to have it created, you would click create new function and it would automatically create a new function of the filtered type. Now that the function has been synced, the scenario information is shown. The second way to sync a function is in the LOPA module on the barrier or IPL object. Navigate to the IPL object and in the function link, click on no data and then search for the function that you would like to find. Click save and now the barrier and the functions are linked. The difference between using the LOPA method and the instrumented systems method is that with the LOPA method, there is no restriction on barrier type linked to a specific function type of object. You can select, as seen here, alarms, BPCSs, and so on. Whereas in the instrumented systems method, you must select the function or object type that matches with the barrier category.